step. All right, we out here. What's happening, YouTube? Say what's up to Fro. Fro says what's up. He got suckered over to the house to uh, work on his car. Shows up, and then he's peeling plastic dip off my fucking wheels. I got had a nail in this tire yesterday. Got to fix a discount for free. Chris down there hooked it up. They're always free. But Fro's almost done with his side. Nah, these these inside corners are. Well, it's closer than it was before. Alright, I wasn't going to try to peel this one, but it's lifting on a couple of edges, so I'm going to peel it. Another fucking 20 minutes later, hopefully. 20? And then we're going to pick up some more plastic dip. And then, we're here to work on the catch. we got to replace the fuel pump. we got to install our fuel lines. Pro got some AM fittings. we will put in that fuel pump. Um, what else are we doing? Oh yeah, we're painting this today. Uh, you don't have to be out of here by four though. Oh, okay. So he's out by four. We'll get her done. All right, so we're thinking about cutting this line off. But we feel like there's a lot of structural integrity with these three points meeting and weld like Cutting up and weld, they're all spot welded and glued together. So we're thinking we're just gonna leave that and paint it. But now we don't know where to make the paint line. I'm thinking yeah, this a, line. I see the bumper dirt line right there. Fro's thinking where the bumper line is. I'm thinking right underneath here and have all that be painted up above. But only because there's this yeah. line, but then you got those two bubbles, we would have to paint above those bubbles where they meet. I wonder if all EK hatches got the three stamp back there. Because if not, if they're all unique, that'd be crazy. I doubt they're unique. The car is made on a Wednesday. Yeah, third day, third third day, day of the week. week. Yeah. I wonder if that's like the EK3 chassis or something. EK3 and 7, yeah. Who knows? Maybe you guys can tell us in the comments what the hell is a 3 stand for. If not, I'm going to try to convince Fro to number his car 3. No. No. 6. 6. Alright, I just want to thank our new sponsor. Car, uh, car Covers Direct. Gave this up for us, for the Lexus. Doesn't fit too good, you guys need to adjust that. No, we're gonna paint, so. I kinda covered the old lady. Don't wanna piss her off. And I'm gonna Plasti Dip this shit too. Cause Plasti Dip is, like a, is a mod. It's not a mod. It's not a mod, it's for the old lady's car. Fro's over here finding the line that he's happy with, so we're gonna paint that piece that the bumper covers black, everything underneath. 
all the way over here. And I kind of wire wheeled it already and prepped it. I didn't really dig in too deep in over here because it's going to be covered by the bumper. And I was going to dig into here, but the idea of it was being, it's going to be covered by the damn brake light. So I did hit the shit out of all this because there was a lot of surface rust with the wire wheel there's a little bit left over here but we're gonna use some good primer on it so and we just gotta clean it up froze paint it up he cleaned it so i'm gonna clean it again so we're painting the whole car anyway so we're just gonna have overspray on this and then figure out where to tape at that point to make the mark to paint gray over it we just need to definitely make sure that we're taping off anything going into the vehicle that way we don't get any overspray at the end of there and anywhere any of these beautiful wheel wells that we painted and prepped and got all pretty um, and make sure that we cover up our struts and, and I, I wouldn't mind painting those struts black or something what struts? Uh, what's the struts? the taquitos? no the, the struts that are right there yeah the taquitos only because they're beat up from all the road rash but it's gonna happen to anything we paint anyway. That's just pebbles and rocks and debris and shit. But yeah, so we're gonna overspray. We're just gonna tape up the car first. Get a couple trash bags. You know, we'll and we're gonna get some bags. The, uh, some cheap tarp from uh, Harbor Freight. Works great. Super fucking cheap shit, but it works. Tuck that shit under. Like that. This bitch is right there or some shit. And I go, I cut up a bunch of uh, pieces to shove in between the, uh, fucking hot, dude. It's not like stupid hot like it has been, but it's hotter. Get a whole lot done it's hot and we're tired and fro's got to get back to work go get pick up his beach cruiser or something that got work done hell yeah burning man next week all you burners see you on the playa yeah i i'm going next year if he enjoys himself i'm afraid of burning man but fro's not fro's going balls deep thanks again for the car cover sponsorship my old lady came home and was like what are you doing i got that blanket in Mexico and that's a nice blanket and they don't make those anymore. I'm like, um, car's clean. She wasn't happy. So, yeah, guys, not a whole lot getting done today. But, um, we painted that. That looks cool. Alright, and I got these re-plasty dip. Not like you guys give a shit about that, nor do I want to even tell you I did this, but I was somewhat productive today guys i wasn't being lazy but um fuel pump didn't get installed a bunch of shit didn't get installed we still got to plumb up the wiring um fuel pump wiring throttle cable finish uh up the uh, shift linkage or shift their cables just reattach them and Drill two holes for the prelude one. Um, just a couple little things I need to get tied up at the car before we actually crank the 
the starter. So, and we still got to wire in our injector. So, correction on these, these are not 450 grams. They're seven. 750s. 750s. Fro got some 750s. That was only in case you guys talked me into going E85, but I'm just. I'm sticking with 100 octane until someone sells me on that crap. Because it seems like too much maintenance to do the E85. We've got to flush it every time we drive it. Yeah, and this ain't a daily that. driver, so. What is this? Oh, the wiring them. That's the clutch. Clutch. The Chase Base clutch one? Oh, we got rid of that with the blind? What do you mean? The clutch one. No, but we're gonna, this is the wiring loom, right? Oh, yeah, this is the wiring loom for yeah. uh, headlights. Alright, perfect. Hey, that intake kind of works almost, but it's ugly as shit. Can we not a paint? Yeah. I'm gonna throw on another coat of this. Now I'm gonna put on this metalizer shit. Actually, it looks pretty good. You want me to help you take down your shade before I cut it? Nah, bro, I got the shade. Look, that fan is dope. Alright, brother. So I don't see you till after Burning Man? Yeah, I'll talk to you before then, man. Right. But I'm leaving Tuesday and I'll be back uh, Labor Day. Alright, Wills. Got some bling. My lady approves, huh, lady? Okay, she says she approves. But I'm All right, guys, I'm gonna head out. Froze out. It's been a long day. Guys, look, here's what it comes down to. Four cars, four homies, all race chassis builds. Or Dave's kind of a race chassis build, but his is like a daily. Eventually will be built for track. It's just he's messing with it on the daily right now because it is barred with the V16 in it. So Dave's car is an EG B16 hatch on E85 turbo. Um, Fro's car, EKH22, that's meant for track with some nitrous, I mean nitrous, with some cams and sprockets. And it's basically a daily um, all motor build that's meant for daily track usage, which hopefully has some longevity behind it with the balance shaft removal kit and the ATI harmonic balancer and having the right you know injectors and the right ECU with the Honda S300. Um, I've got my H22 CB7, my Lexus, you know, Fro still got his, his TL, Dave's got his BMW, Mark has his DA, which he's gonna promises us week to week. I will have a, a video out. Whatever. Just look, look for those nights. Uh, odds are late night, Wednesday or early morning Thursday. And uh, yeah, guys. So, yeah, guys, um, I'll be talking to you soon. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for commenting and liking. All right, dog, you ready? Yeah? All right, let's roll. Come on. Let's go. You coming or what? You got to close up the shop, bro. Get in there. Done.